Help support Name Explain by liking this video, leaving a comment, and subscribing to the channel. In the past, we made a whole video about a variety of countries that are named after actual people who existed on this very planet. In example, the country of Bolivia is named after the famed South American liberator Simon Bolivar, and the Philippines are named after King Philip II of Spain. Today's video, however, is going to be taking an approach that is far more legendary. There are many countries on our planet that are named after figures from history whose actual existence is somewhat up for debate. And that's not me saying that the people I'm covering today definitely did or didn't exist. That's the whole point of legends. We don't really know where the facts and fiction start with them. The OED has many definitions for what legendary means, and my favourite one is the one that reads a person, event, etc., whose existence or occurrence has no historical foundation. Because I really think that succinctly explains what it means for something to be legendary. As the word has lost some of its meaning in recent times I feel. Sometimes now legendary is simply used to talk about something that's really really good, e.g. that video game is legendary or that night out was legendary. Anyway, that's going a tad off topic. We aren't talking about legendary nights out, but rather legendary figures, and legendary people can range from a wide array of categories. It could be someone who was real, but over time their life or actions have become legendary, leader of a tribe who we aren't sure if they were real or not, to outright gods of various religions and mythologies. And I must add something of a disclaimer here, and apologise if I mention someone of importance to you here, and you perceive I'm labelling them as not real. Most if not all legends are founded on something real, whether we know what that real thing is or not. Legends happen when human wonder fills in the gaps when we weren't able to explain things otherwise. That's my definition of legendary. I understand it's a bit more washy than the OEDs, but I like it. So let's look into some countries, find out who they were named after, who exactly those people were, and why that land is named after them. Also, I must mention that you may have heard some of these before in videos on this channel unto themselves, but every video could be someone's first time on the channel. So if that's you, then why not stick around? We're so close to 250,000 subs and I really want to get there, so please help a guy out. And speaking of countries I've already talked about, I want to talk about a specific country etymology that crops up in so many places, and I've covered in a fair few videos. In fact, if if you google how did countries get their names, you'll see many articles explaining how most countries in the world are named after one of four things, with one of these four things being tribe names. I shan't tell you the other three as I'll probably make a video about this in the future with a clickbait title called something like how every country got its name and just talk about these four ideas, so remember to be surprised slash angry when that video comes out in the future. The thing about a lot of these countries that are named after tribes is that a lot of these tribes are named after their legendary founders. In example, we have videos about Czechia and Russia on the channel. and in in those videos I mentioned that each country are named after the Czech tribal people and the Lus tribal people respectively. However, these two tribes are named after their founders of Czech and Lus, who were actually brothers. Not only this, but they actually had a third brother too, Lech. There are variations of the legend surrounding these three brothers, but by and large it goes that the three split in their homelands to find new lands for themselves, with Czech founding the Czech tribe which would go on to become modern Czechia, Lus founding the Lus tribe and would eventually lead to the creation of Russia, and Lech would go on to find Lechia, an old legendary name for Poland. Of course, as we also mentioned in a previous video, Belarus has named Russia too, kind of, translating into right Russia. So it's a country named after another country, named after a tribe, named after a legendary person, which is a seriously roundabout way of being named after a legendary person, but named after one nonetheless. And likewise, we talked about how Denmark was named after the Danes in our Scandinavian video. How the Danes are believed to be named after one of their earliest legendary kings, King Dan or King Halfdan. And of course, we did a video about how Romania is weirdly named after the Rome Romans, while Italy their homeland isn't, and the Romans are named after their legendary founder too, Romulus. As mentioned, a lot of these have been covered in videos already, so check them out, they'll be linked down below. A country I don't believe we've talked about before, however, is El Salvador. El Salvador is the smallest nation within Central America, being about the same size as Wales. However, a population of around 7 million is the most densely populated country in all of the Americas. In recent history, the country has been in the midst of a civil war, but with that now behind them, it seems El Salvador wants to be best known as a tourist destination, with their beautiful beaches. El Salvador was named by Spanish conquistador Pedro de Alvalado. Of course the Spanish were extremely religious, and gave many names relating to Christianity to places they found across the Americas. While many of these places were named after the saints of Christianity, El Salvador was named after the big cheese of the entire religion. In English, El Salvador translates into meaning the saviour, and of course the saviour is none other than Jesus Christ. As mentioned, it makes all the sense in the world for a conquistador or 
of this time to name somewhere after Jesus. There isn't too much mystery surrounding this one. And once again, I just want to say that because I'm labeling Jesus as a legendary person, doesn't mean I'm saying he doesn't exist. We went into detail on the real historical Jesus in an episode of my podcast, AD History, which you should go check out. A country that is more or less just as small as El Salvador is the tiny African nation of Djibouti. In fact, it is the eighth smallest country in all of Africa by land area. What it lacks in size, however, it makes up for in women, as the country has a much higher ratio of women when compared to men for some reason. However, there's something big this nation lacks too, trees. Less than 1% of the entire nation is covered by trees, making a very sparse nation. And as for that name, well, Ron Fury has this named after an Egyptian god, with the name meaning Land of Tahuti, or Land of Tahut, who is the ancient Egyptian god of writing, magic, and the moon. Why this land was named after him, however, I couldn't find out. In fact, despite how this fits into our video about legendary figures naming countries, I couldn't find too much to back up this idea beyond Wikipedia. But there are other theories as to how this country got its name. One idea says it's named after a beast called Buti, which translates into bear. And there are even other ideas like it meaning the boat has arrived, as it's right by the sea, to it meaning metal cooking pot for some reason. Over in Asia, we have the nation of Cambodia. This Southeast Asian nation has a somewhat volatile recent history too, resulting in the current population of the nation being rather young. Around half the population is 15 years old or younger, and is of course home to Angkor Wat, the largest religious building in the world, and the reason many visit the country. In fact, it is so synonymous with the nation that it's on their flag, making the flag of Cambodia the only country flag with a building on it. As for the name Cambodia, well that's only its English name, which derives from the French Cambodge. In their own tongue, the nation is called Kampuchea, and this name is thought to come from the Sanskrit name for the tribe who lived in the area, the Kamboja. And of course this tribe is named after their legendary leader, Kambu Swayambhuva. So once again we have a nation named after a tribe, named after a legendary leader. Very near to Cambodia is Laos. Perhaps the most interesting thing I found out about Laos is that despite the fact that it is a landlocked country, it is known to having over 4,000 islands. This is in the south with Si Phan Don, a river archipelago that is apparently ideal for anyone wanting a beach getaway, without having to actually go to the beach. And of course Laos has some amazing diversity when it comes to animal life, from snakes to gibbons to tigers, and even the wonderfully odd looking Irradi dolphins. But what about that name? Well, Laos is once again named after the Laos people. But who were they named after? Well, we aren't too sure. However, one theory is that they're named after a character from the Hindu epic, the Ramayana, that character being called a lava. How this character's name has nothing to do with actual lava that spews out of volcanoes. That comes from the Latin word lava, meaning to wash, as lava washes over the land. And lava is still used in that sense today when we talk about soap. Anyway, that's way off topic. And I must mention that Laos being named after lava is very much just a theory. There doesn't seem to be much evidence backing it up. Finally, away from Asia, we have Ireland. How the name Ireland is kind of confusing, as it applies to many things. If you were to say this, this, and this are all called Ireland, then you would be correct. This island geographically as a whole is called Ireland, and on the island of Ireland are kind of two countries that are both called Ireland as well. There's the independent nation of the Republic of Ireland, which is officially just called Ireland, and makes up the majority of the island of Ireland. And in the north of the island of Ireland lies Northern Ireland, which has been described as a country, province, and a region. Whatever you want to call it, it's one of the parts of the United Kingdom along with England, Scotland and Wales. So there's Ireland the island, Ireland the country and Northern Ireland the kind of country. I definitely said Ireland and Ireland way too much now. So instead of saying Ireland, let's say the Irish name for Ireland, Irla. Unsurprisingly, this name comes from a legendary figure. I'd be shocked if you hadn't realised that by now. Irla's name comes from Irlu, with Irlu being the matron goddess of Irish mythology and somewhat the female personification for the land. The reason she became the personification from the land is due to one of the legends surrounding her, in which she stopped a series of invaders from taking over Ireland. And from the Irish name of Irla for the land, we got the English Ireland by simply removing the E at the start and adding land to the end. However, there was another idea for the name that came from Scottish Gaelic, and explained that the name Ireland comes from their language and meant Westland Isle. And while that would make sense as Ireland is west of Scotland, this doesn't seem to actually be the case. And on that note, we've covered more than enough legendary name nations for now. However, there are more out there, so let me know about the ones I may have missed out on, and let me know if you live 
you want these countries named after a legendary person. Just Ireland was suggested by Deborah Spiesch, and thanks to their suggestion, they will now be honoured as name explains patron saint of Ireland. Do you have a good idea for somewhere that's name could be covered in a name explained video? If so, then please consider donating on Patreon. Just one dollar a month helps keep the channel running and earns you a weekly chance to suggest somewhere to be turned into a video, and you too could be a name explain Patreon saint. Thank you to all my patrons who support Name Explain on a monthly basis. Name Explain depends on small monthly donations from fans like you to help keep the channel running. Just the small amount of $2 a month helps in a huge way, grants you patron exclusive Name Explain extras, and gets your name here with all these awesome people. Thank you. Hello all and thank you so much for reaching the end of the video. Stick around and check out another video and subscribe to stay up to date on all things Name Explain. You can follow myself on Twitter at NameExplainYT. Follow me there and tweet the name Paddy at me so I know you came from this message. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and once again, thank you all so much.